Hi, my name is Lila Horn, and I'm a second grade teacher at Fernandolis Elementary School in Sun Valley. I have been with LAUSD for just over 30 years, and I wanted to tell you why I wanted to become a teacher. Uh, when I was in kindergarten, I had a, a beautiful and kind teacher named Mrs. Michaels, and I adored her, and I wanted to be just like her. She taught me so much and I, I, I enjoyed learning from her. I would go home from school every day and I would line up my stuffed animals and I would pretend I was Mrs. Michaels and teach them whatever I had learned in school. I would assign them work to do, then I would do the work for them, then I would grade their work and let them know how they did. After that, fast forward to high school and uh, college and I, when I started at Cal State Northridge, I enrolled in the child development program and I also got a job at my church's preschool and I realized, wow, I really want to be a teacher. I really like this. It fit. I love being with kids. I love being around them and, and all day long and teaching them. And when I graduated in May at CSUN, I called all the schools and that I could that were private schools and I got a job and started teaching kindergarten in September, right after I graduated. How have I promoted or strengthened the teaching profession? I have relatives who wanted to become teachers, the student teachers that I've had, uh, former former students that I've had. I always tell them the realities of teaching. It's hard work. It's it's not easy. It's not. It's not a nine to five job. You get up in the morning before school and you do work. Then when you get home from work, you do work. And on the weekends you do work. There's always planning, there's preparing, there's, there's gluing, there's cutting. There's always something to do and make. And if you wanna watch TV at night, if I wanna watch TV at night, I always have something in front of me that I'm working on. Whether it's putting books together or making bingo cards or something. I always have to be doing something. So I would tell them that's what it's like. And what usually happened after I told people the realities of teaching, the people that I knew, they went into teaching anyway, and they love it. They love it. How do I involve the parents? I use Class Dojo. Class Dojo is great because when, for my Spanish speaking parents, I can send them a message and Class Dojo translates it to Spanish. And when they send me a message in Spanish, I can translate it to English. So we can communicate all the time. Also, I, Class Dojo is very big on uh, giving points. So whenever my students earn a certain amount of points, I, they get to pick a certificate and they get to pick a prize. And I didn't want them to miss out on that because of coronavirus. I originally tried to mail everything to their house, but it costs a lot of money and it was just cheaper for me to drive to their house. I would let the parents know when I would be coming. They would meet me in the front. We'd wear our masks. We'd stay six feet apart and I would deliver their prize and certificate, take their picture, post it on Class Dojo. Everybody could see um, how everybody was doing. I also use Class Dojo to grade the students' work. They upload the picture of the work they've been doing online and I write comments and then the parents write comments back to me and then I write more comments and we have this whole dialogue together. Even though we've been online this whole time and now we're in person just since last week, I have seen the parents all year. I've talked to them, I've waved to them from my car, I've dropped so many things off. Every week I was dropping things off. So we've had this, this communication with the parents and that's the way to keep them involved. And I, I let them know I care about their kids and I know they care about their kids and we work together to help the kids.